Well, joining me now is Peter Saunders, the Chief Executive of the National Association for People Abused in Childhood. It's good to have you back on the programme tonight. Oh. And I know that one FBI special agent has said that the nightmare is now over for these three women. But is it? I mean, surely the recovery is only just going to begin today, isn't it? Well, I think, you know, at NAPAC, every day we hear from people that have suffered not dissimilar things to what these three young women have, have been through. And I think the, um, the, the mayor of the city actually put it quite rightly when he said there's still a lot of questions to be answered about this. How will they but, go about doing that? Because they are going to be crucial, aren't they, in the trial of these three men that, who have been arrested. Absolutely. It's going to be very hard, maybe, for them to recount their memories um, in such a way that they need to get this evidence from them. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very bizarre situation. And it's not I, unlike some of the other situations that we've heard about in recent years that, you know, people, your viewers may remember, you know, the the, uh, the, the guy in Austria. Natasha uh, Campus. Yeah, yeah and, then, and that, that young lady. And, you know, these people have survived, but they've, they've had a long, long, hard road. And as I say, at NAPAC, every day we hear from people who are a lot older than these young women who are still struggling. Mm -hmm. So I hope and pray that they get the kind of support, psychological support and love that they need. And, of course, there is an element of having presumably lived in some kind of relationship with these men as, as inappropriate as, as it is, there is the kind of Stockholm Syndrome issue that may mm -hmm. come up whereby they feel some allegiance to those men, uh, which would be natural uh, given the circumstances. So, yeah, lots of questions, um, difficult answers perhaps, and, and let's hope that their, their family can, can come around them and help them. And we know that one of these ladies had a child, a daughter, when she was held captive. Presumably the father is one of the three men who's been arrested. We don't know that for sure. sure. And for this little girl, this is all that she's known, this life, isn't a it? Absolutely. And our hearts go out to these people and we just hope that they get, you know, uh, I don't know whether there is a NAPAC in the United States, but, you know, what we do is support adult survivors of childhood abuse. And these three women have been through something, from what the police have said, they've been through something pretty horrific, but they've survived, and let's hope they move on. And show an incredible bravery by trying to break three as well. We have to remember that. Absolutely. Peter, thank you so much for joining us Thank tonight. you, Emma.